So the episode kicked back off with this old little 18-year-old girl and her 18-year-old birthday getting upset because nobody wouldn't give her an apology, basically. Toya, you ought to know better. You admitted out your own mouth that your daughter have a mouth on her, but yet you still running to defend her 18-year-old about us. I know that's your daughter. I know you love her and all that. But then you have a tragedy in your family, meaning your brothers got shot over this same type of bullshit. Then why are you doing it on national? TV trying to defend your daughter's honor. And it wasn't even much this serious this time. Now, yeah, I might have seen the first time, possibly, maybe I might have with a gay little here for a pass. But now, why is she going to get these boys to beat this big boy up? Do they really, well, do he really think he going to beat um, Brandon ass? Now, quite that Brandon might not can fight, but that's a lot to be trying to beat up for that little tiny little boy. Okay, good luck with that. But still, though, Toya, you need to get a grip on you and your daughter reality. Because it ain't really that goddamn serious to be showing your ass on this on national TV. I'm just saying. So, Toya, you allowed to talk. When he tried to explain to you what happened, you best let up a power in him telling him shit he did wrong that didn't happen this time around. But, yeah, you won't let him talk. You just overpowering him. So how do you expect to get an understanding of what happened when you talking over him and won't let him explain the situation at all? Here you go bringing up shit that happened past episodes that you still bringing up this bullshit, but the boy simply trying to explain to you what happened now, and you don't want to hear it. Toya, get a grip, hon. For once, Toya, I finally agree with you. It is time to dead this shit. It's time to nip it in the bug. You need to pull your daughter by her goddamn neck and make sure she apologizes and they apologize to each other. Yes, let's end this cause she ready to go tell her daddy and now this gonna be some old bullshit. I don't know why people so scared of Lil Wayne, but okay, I guess. But anyways, though, yes, Toya, it's time to cut this shot out and about time you act like a parent to your damn daughter. I'm actually proud to see you actually do something about your daughter in her mouth. Finally, it took you long enough. Well, damn, if you're looking for a bigger person, you might want to look at your son, and, and he's trying, but little Miss Asshole won't let it go, and she still insists on talking about it ain't over, it ain't over. You might want to go irritate Toya ass again and might rub her ass the wrong way, but she could choke her damn daughter or something. Cause little Miss Asshole ain't letting it go. I don't see her letting this shit go. She gonna milk this shit for a storyline and she gonna run with it to the end of this goddamn season. Well, how much you gonna be? And what's y'all thoughts on them clothes? The the jacket look nice. I guess the dress with the back I I can see somebody wearing that. As for that uh, Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that clothes. I, I think the jacket and that black dress was okay. But as for that other one, yeah, you lost him with that shit. I'm confused of what the hell you were showing him, to be quite honest. But I guess, I guess you earned your check. Ayana, Ayala, however you say your name. Miss Hurricane, are you sure you want him to meet Amy? Y'all ain't got the top of stable relationship, A. B, you very insecure and highly insecure. C, yeah, you might want to say this pass for another girl. I, I don't see Amy Rant lasting along with you. You talking about some you homeless nine? You about to be kidding? Yeah, I'll I, 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 I wait till the next one come along. Not, not Amy, because I don't see y'all. You might can make it through with Amy. As of now, mm -mm. you might want to go find you another one. I'm, I, I no. So here we go with Bow Wild all over again at knowing the studio I ain't going to cut this album. Yeah, go ahead and have fun at Atlanta. Go ahead and hang out with your friends. Keep on blaming it on Rogers Blog. Blah, 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 blah. You don't need to come up with no new music anyway because I don't think nobody going to buy it. You might have a fan of three out there somewhere. You been lost me, so I know I ain't gonna buy. I might buy one of your little songs if it sounds good. But yeah, you doing the right thing. Keep blaming it on writer's block. That, that's a good excuse. Let's run with that bow wow. I don't think nobody gonna buy your music. Bow wow. Bow wow. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, Funk, 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 Flat, Funk Master Flex did take it there. However, however, his name in and out the hip hop industry, well known all over the world. Bow Wow, what have you done for us lately? Come on now. And he can drop an album and to get more sales than you any day. Hell, he can go DJ in the club and get more. Bow Wow, just shut up. Yeah, he all want me to be the, yeah, all this, yeah, his jury fake, whatever. Half of y'all damn rappers jewelry fake. So, so, so what? And he more respected than you is. Yeah, you might try to bash him on this show, but guess what, buddy? I bet you they'll run to him quicker than they'll run to you. How about that? I bet you won't put your last penny on that when I would you. Bow Wow. 24 million records selling out the garden six times. Yeah, for what album? When? Not lately. Goodbye, Bow Wow. I'm done entertaining your antics. And you let your friends sit up there and pump your little head thinking you all this in a bag of chips. And you do mumble on your records, by the way. So, and. I say you take the L on this thing because you do. You 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 don't hold a leg up the funk master. I don't care what you say about him. <laughs> you, you don't got no legal leg to stand on there, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. So now we return at age 30. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bow Wow, you dumb. Retiring at age 30, when you got some fans out there that still uh, support you music-wise, and you want to drop this last album and call it quits. You might need to go talk to somebody or do something. I don't think Snoop Dogg, JD, or the brat going to help you out in this situation. You having the longest rider block, riders block of this century for uh, for any type of artist. You might want to go get that fixed time about retiring at 30. Okay, you will be the first and ever last flop that, okay. Do that. See how far that gets you retiring at 30. I guarantee you'll be back in the studio before you get to where you can let your last damn check. Go ahead and do that. I dare you. Oh, so now you ready. How long has J.D. and the brat them been ready for your little ass and all of a sudden you talk to uh, Snoop Dogg and now all of a sudden you ready and now he out of town. Now you man. Stay little man, little boy, because ain't nobody pressing. Ain't nobody going to be scared of your little ass. And now you ready all of a sudden, and he out of town. Make your own damn record. How about that for a change? Mr. Want to retire at the age of 30. Uh-oh, Brandon. See, I'm rooting for you, but you already started off at a horrible start. Hopefully, you'll get it together. Hopefully, maybe I'm I'm still rooting for you though. You do got a mouth on you, but I'm I'm not seeing up keep nobody down while they going down. So I'm gonna hand my hand out to you. Hope you grab it and lift yourself back up. Um, Yana, Yana, however you say your name, I guess the girlfriend want to meet your dad. I just hope she don't fuck it up and make you end up breaking up with her, which is probably be good for the both of y'all though. But hopefully it works out for the best. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. <sighs> you just made an amateur move, buddy. I ain't need much know about your job or what you do, but buddy, they can't hear them. They sound like they mumbling, like Bow Wow, for instance, and you gonna let them go out there perform anyways? You could at least turn the music down for the way they ain't rapping or whatever, that meets like them sound somewhat better without the mic. You could have sounded just a whole lot way better than you did, Brandon. You made an amateur move, and this ain't the way you, this ain't your first showcase how it's supposed to happen, buddy. You could have canceled or whatever. Anything up aside letting them go up there, making them ass out of you and they self. You need your ass kicked for that one. Well, Ayana, if you want this relationship to work, Hey, you don't tell your daddy that y'all have the ups and downs, this and that. I'm patient, but I ain't patient normally. We have an issue. You don't go laying your issues down in front of your dad if you want the relationship to work. What the hell wrong with you? A, B, you mad because he telling his honest and truly... You're not ready for no relationship, huh? You need to get yourself together first. I, 
you, clearly you expect him to be honest with you, but you giving him ammo and ammunition to work with by telling him y'all problems when he said, don't tell him your problems, but yet you want to lay him out on the top. Ayana, Ayana, I can't with you. Oh, Brandon, you was doing so good with Brave. Honey B, she need to go fly away because Honey forgot her words. She sound a mess. Yeah, Honey B, it's enough for me. It, um, Brave, yeah, keep them around. No matter of fact, Dale, please get Honey, I mean, Brave and do something with them that Brandon ain't going to be able to do with them. And then, uh, then Brave will do something with this. Honey B, fly away. Fly, fly, fly away from Atlanta. Brandon, seriously, I was rooting for you, but I think you too big for y'all. Think you think you too big for your britches, and you doing team too much. Yes, people get nervous. Yes, people forget they worst every once in a blue moon. But you doing all this, and you don't want all of your own and all this. Now you just showing your ass. I, Johnny, yeah, I think you did dodge a big bullet when it came to working with him. You might do need to work with somebody that professional more than him. Because, Brandon, you weren't ready for this showcase. And you weren't ready for the problem to be started with this showcase. And the hell it is to set up a nice showcase. You weren't ready, buddy. You need to stop popping yourself up when you're not ready for the big leagues. <laughs> so, Honey B wasn't, re wasn't respecting Brandon and what he was receiving. Mama Dale come out there, give her a little tender hand, tell her to suck it up, talk to her nice and gently without yelling at her, acting like some big bully. And she receives this, and she willing to put in the word, but not with Brandon. So now he looked like a jackass called Mama Dad and took over his showcase and then took this artist. So now he looked like he about two seconds of running to the car crying. Well, Brandon, you weren't ready for the big leagues, buddy. You should have just stayed in the background. I know you want to get out that shadow, but, but it looked like you're not too ready to get out that shadow. Anyways, though, y'all, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.